So let me read a couple of scriptures to you so you understand what life looks like when you don't have a shepherd. Number 20, Numbers 27, 17. Who will go out and come in before them? And who will lead them out and bring them in so that the congregation of the Lord will not be like sheep without a shepherd? The difference between a sheep with a shepherd and a sheep without a shepherd is that there are sheep who choose to follow someone else's lead. You get to choose who your shepherd is. You get to choose God. Micah, I'm sorry about that. First Kings chapter 22, 17. So Micah declared, I saw all of Israel scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. And the Lord said, these people have no master. Let each one of them return home in peace. When you don't have a shepherd, you're generally scattered. And you know because you don't have anybody that you trust to lead you. I know we live in a culture where everything is about I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to go whatever. I, it's all about me. It's mine. I do whatever. No, 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 no. You are a sheep. You need to look every day in the mirror and just say, bah. You're a sheep. You know sheep are dumb. I'm not saying you dumb. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying you dumb. But sheep need to be guided because sheep can hurt themselves without a shepherd. You know sheep, if they see one sheep go off the cliff, all of them follow. And I think it's so funny. <laughs> but some of us, we follow right behind our little girlfriend. Girl, she did it, so I'm going to do it. They said it's okay, so I'm going to. Everybody say, bye. You act like you, you know the sound. You, you know the sound, okay. We all, at some point, will go wayward. Listen, every last one of us will go wayward. But when we do, allow the great shepherd to lead you rather than you choosing your own.